Hello and welcome back to Star Trek is Life. So after watching the first episode of Star Trek Picard named Remembrance, there is a lot to cover. I will say this, it is quite visually and audibly amazing. It also manages to be nostalgic without leaving new watchers of the series bored or even confused. But beyond that, I wanted to ask the question, is Dodge really dead? A lot happened in this episode and here are some of the footnotes. Number one, Bing Crosby sings Blue Skies. Number two, Picard and Data have a game of poker. Number three, Picard wakes up from his poker nightmare and shows us Chateau Picard in French, which is beautiful, I might add. Number four, we meet Dodge and her boyfriend in the future Boston. We know this because there's neon holograms on every building, and there's one thing we can all agree on, neon is the color of the future. Oh boy, we're getting off topic. Back to Dodge, the mysterious woman in the Picard trailers that no one knew. Well, it turns out she is a synthetic or an android, like Data. Matter of fact, she is Data's daughter in a matter of speaking, as it turns out she was created by a scientist named Bruce Maddox, all by using a single positronic neuron from Data. So right, Dodge has these premonitions of Picard and finds him in his chateau. They create a bond because he notices that he recognizes her and finds a picture that Data painted 30 years ago that looks exactly like her. Now keep in mind that Dodge is made out to be in her early 20s as she just got accepted into a prestigious institute. Okay, so let's fast forward. These masked people are trying to capture her and she finally gets cornered with Picard on the building top. She kicks some of their butts but ends up getting blown to smithereens in the process. It is at this point I bring up the question once more. Is Dodge really dead? The reason why I asked this initially is the absolute suddenness of this happening. She gets blown up a mere 33 minutes into the very first episode. That seems a little fishy to me. Now it is discovered later in the episode that she does have a twin, and so one could say, well, it doesn't matter if Dodge dies. We have a look-alike, right? The show can go on. Let's look beyond that and discuss how Dodge may not be dead. First clue is that she did not internally combust. If you were to rewatch this clip, you will notice that the weapon caused the explosion. Although it initially looks like she caused the explosion, she did not. Which brings us to the next question. What in the heck is this green goo that the Romulan assassin spit on her? It came out of his mouth, so then why is it affecting Dodge so much? Could it be some sort of serum that's meant to sedate or convert synthetics? Also, if you look closely at the clip, you will notice that the explosion is in front of Dodge. It is possible that she was teleported away or converted into something else that would not get affected by the explosion. Now I know this is a lot of ifs, but we are talking about Star Trek here, and anything is possible. Another possibility is that since she is a synthetic that was presumably created by a single positronic neuron, is it not possible or even probable that she could simply be reanimated if one neuron were to be found? Assuming that they have doctors in the future and wellness checkups, wouldn't there be a vial of carefully disguised synthetic blood in a lab somewhere? And if we were to take that blood to a brilliant scientist, I don't know, going by the name of Bruce Maddox, wouldn't he be able to reanimate her or rebuild her? Well, that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you think it's possible that Dodge is still alive or if there's another way she may still be alive or even reanimated. Also, if anybody can tell me how to capture streaming video or take screenshots of particular scenes, that would be great. Because then I wouldn't have to take photos of my monitor. Whenever I try to either record the screen or snip a picture, the CBS screen goes gray. Now I understand that there are copyright issues to contend with, but if there's any pointers, they would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and as always, remember, Star Trek is life.